Welcome to the Rock Class Videos Pebbles Edition. This is Learning Your Bible Facts with Miss Rhonda. Hi kiddos, welcome back for another Bible Fact video. I am so excited to be with you today. I love knowing that you're working so hard to learn and memorize these amazing Bible facts. You know, the more Bible facts you know, the better you get to know your Bible, the better you get to know the Word of God. And I am thrilled that you have joined me as we work to learn and memorize these amazing Bible facts. Well, today's Bible fact is called A New Man, A Changed Man. That's kind of an interesting title for some Bible facts. But these Bible facts that we're going to talk about today are things the Apostle Paul wrote in one of his epistles to the brethren living in Colossae. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 3, 12 through 16. You see, Paul is telling the brethren there that because you're a Christian, you are are a new man. You are a changed man. And that's what happens when we decide to give our life over to Jesus. And we're going to follow him with everything we have. And we follow the plan of salvation. We become a Christian. We become a child of God. We become a new man. A changed man. Well, I am sure you have seen a caterpillar. You know, a caterpillar starts out kind of wormy. You know, he creeps along, he eats the leaves. But then one day, the caterpillar completely changes. He becomes a butterfly. He no longer even looks like a caterpillar. And that's what happens when we become a follower of God. We were once in sin. And now, because we follow God, we're completely different. We're kind of like that butterfly. We were once a caterpillar, but now we're a butterfly. We're completely changed. We're a changed man. We're a new man. So let's talk about what it means to be a changed man or a new man. All right, first off, he says, you are God's chosen one, holy and beloved. All right, first off, holy means to be set apart. You are going to be different than some of your friends. You're going to be different than some of the people that you meet in the world because you have chosen to follow God. You have chosen to be God's child. So you're going to be different. You are holy, set apart. You don't look like and behave like those in the world. You behave differently because you are a follower of God. You are holy and beloved. What does beloved mean? It means to be deeply loved. And we are deeply loved by God. He loves his followers. He loves everyone. And he wants his followers to live to please him. So we are beloved. We are deeply loved by God. And then he says, because you are beloved, because you are holy, you are a new man, a changed man. And so... Put on tender mercies. Tender mercies are mercies shown to someone who you might have power or authority over. This mama has power or authority over her child. And maybe she told him to take out the garbage that day. But he came home sick from school. And so instead of taking out the garbage... Mama took him and put him in bed and showed him mercy because he wasn't feeling well. Maybe she took the trash out for him that day because he wasn't feeling well. She showed him tender mercies. 
Well, that is what God does for us. He shows us tender mercy. So he wants us to show others tender mercy. And then make sure you put on kindness. I love this picture. Look at that little girl. She is holding a kitty cat and petting a puppy. You know, she's being kind. And God wants us to be kind. Kind means to be gentle, good, and caring. Do you care about others? Are you gentle with others? Are you good to others? If so, you're kind. And that's what God wants us to put on. He also says to be humble, to have humility. That means to not be proud, to be modest. In other words, even if we win, we don't brag and we don't make fun of those who didn't win. We are humble. We are modest. We're not proud. That's the way we need to live because we are followers of God. We're new men. We're a changed man. Put on meekness. Meekness means patient and mild, not easily angered or upset, even when we're mistreated. Instead, let's pray about it. You know, it's sometimes hard when we're being mistreated to be calm, to be patient, to be mild, but God wants his followers to be patient, mild, not easily angered or upset, even when we're being mistreated. Instead, we need to pray for those who are mistreating us. Have meekness because we are changed men. We are a new man. He also says to put on patience. Patience is able to stay calm when faced with pain, trouble, or a long wait. I love this picture of these children on the slide. She's having to patiently wait for her turn to go down the slide because her friend is on the slide. And if she went down now, she'd crash into him and they might both get hurt. And so we need to practice our patience, being able to stay calm while we wait. God wants us to be patient. Forgiving. We need to be forgiving. You know, this little boy broke a vase. See all the, the vase on the floor and the flowers are everywhere. And he goes and he tells his mom, I broke the vase. And his mom hugs him and says, I love you. I loved that vase, but I love you more. And I will forgive you. That's how we need to be. Sometimes we're going to get hurt. Sometimes people aren't going to be nice to us. Sometimes they might mistreat us. But if they say, I'm sorry, forgive me, we need to have a forgiving heart because we're a new man. We're a changed man. We're a follower of Jesus. And he says, make sure you have love. You know, we can love, have strong affections for God, for our relatives, for our friends, for the brethren at church, and for those who are lost in sin. To love them means to do what they need to have done for them. So, Let's say one of your people that you know at church is sick. What can you do for them? Maybe you can take them a meal. Maybe you can send them a card. Maybe your mom needs help with doing things around the house. Because we love our moms, we're going to be willing to help mom. You know, God says through Paul, 
that we're a new man, a changed man, if we're a follower of Jesus. So we are going to have the love that we need to have so that we can help others when they need help. We are to live differently. If we love God and we become a Christian, he expects us to live with all those wonderful attributes in our life because we are a new man, a changed man. We are holy and beloved. Well, I have a song I want to teach you that will help you memorize all the attributes that come by being a new man, a changed man. And it goes like this. You are God's chosen one, holy and beloved. A new man, a changed man, oh yes, it's true, obeying the Lord above. You are God's chosen one, holy and beloved. Put on tender mercies and always be kind to each and every one. You are God's chosen one, holy and beloved. Be humble, show meekness, and have patience, forgiving each and every one. And always have love. You know, we need to always have love for other people. We need to love God, love Jesus, and love our fellow man. Be there for them. Help them. Do what God wants you to do. Do what Jesus wants you to do. And get out there and share the plan of salvation with our friends and our family and with even strangers that we meet on the street. All right, kiddos. I want you to work really hard this week to memorize what it means to be a new man, a changed man from Colossians 3. 12 through 16. I love you kiddos. Mwah! And I will see you next time with another Bible fact video.